Ladies and gentlemen, Sidestrafe here with my very first look at Eidolon. And this is a new title by Ice Water Games. And it's more so a exploration game. Uh, I'm going to go to the Steam page right now and read off their description. So you can get a general idea of what we're about to get into here. So, Eidolon is a game about exploring a mysterious landscape and uncovering the stories of the people who lived there once before. It is a game about history, curiosity, interconnectedness, and the slow and inevitable beauty of life. Some of the features here. Over 150 documents telling the interconnected stories of dozens of characters across hundreds of years. An enormous hand-sculpted western Washington that takes multiple hours to cross day-night cycle and dynamic weather, as you can see from this rain that just showed up here. Varied flora and fauna, both predators and prey. So, this game is not a survival horror. There are survival elements. You do need to eat, you need to sleep. Uh, but more so, really, it's just a beautiful game of exploration. Uh, probably going to come in handy if you're in the mood to chill. So, I haven't played, watched a trailer, looked at some screenshots, haven't really read into it, just the Steam page, that's it. I like to surprise myself. The settings I have tweaked, dropped the music a little bit, 1920 by 1080, full screen, that's it. View distance, I've put up a little bit there. Uh, controls, we've got menu, open book, movement, toggle run, run, jump, interact, use tool, swap tool there so let's go back and hit play oh that's kind of cool I actually thought that was more of a menu there but we're actually in the world and this is where we start nice so um, I notice an eye lower left hand corner there I'm gonna go ahead and well just kind of get a feel for these controls fairly standard bird flying around the distance there uh, the art style, very clean. I like it. This is apparently using a version of the Unreal Engine. For those curious. Get mushroom. Got four mushrooms. Nice. Now I got two. Now I got five. Welcome to Mushroom Gathering Simulator. 2014. No. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's take a look at our menu. That was the tab key. Nothing here. Alright. Uh, looks like a globe. I'm guessing a map here. I don't know if it's as you travel or if you find maps. Inventory. There's our shrooms. Eleven of them. We can click and then we can eat them. Are they safe? And I guess here we can take notes oh wow my handwriting is not fantastical well cursive you know um, font could be iffy there uh, what is Lux it's like a camera 12 a.m. that's not real time in game time weather conditions maybe I don't know what this is I don't, there's nothing here. Or there. Something here. Estimated time remaining. Okay, warning. Due to your distance from... <laughs> I almost thought it said bacon. Due to your distance from bacon? This is a horror game. Okay, no. Due to your distance from a beacon, your vitals are subject to extreme changes, including death. Oh. This game might not be as relaxing as I thought. Rested. You move faster after sleeping. This will fade with time. Alright, and I guess these are other statuses here. And does that make you go to sleep? I don't know. I don't want to touch that just yet because it's still daylight. Alright, well, let's uh, continue moving downhill, I guess. I'll go this way. Uh, you can hold shift and run. Or you can just walk. And take in some of the sights and sounds. Now remember, this is modeled after Washington, so you can expect probably a lot of rain and forested areas. 
I like these kinds of environments. The art style, really nice. Um, interesting. I don't think I've personally played a game that looks like this before. I do like it. It is a different feel. Especially if you're talking about some sort of survival game. Now we've got music. The rain's gone, but no ambient noise. So there's no sounds of wind or trees or anything. I kind of wish there was. That always adds to the feel of a title. Um, the game, according to the Steam page, it's not listed as early access or anything. So it is a release title. If you're wondering about the price, it is $15. Uh, the devs seem keen to updating this game. Get Tinder. G got one Tinder. If you want to get Tinder, you can do that as well in this game. That's a major feature. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so, well, we've got some different uh, types of bushes here and trees. And a lake. Let's go ahead and run towards this lake. Now, I don't know if I have any type of stamina. Can I run forever? Will it tire me out? I guess we'll find out. What's that? There's a blinky thing over there. Now, the sounds of the lake are coming into play. Lovely circle clouds. It is a really pretty game, there's no doubt. It is really nice. It's it's funny how some developers are able to make simplicity beautiful. You know, we're not talking about the most advanced textures and shader technology here. It's just well drawn in a way. What is this thing? Some sort of glowy cube. What? Oh, what is that? Okay. Oh! I just threw a crouton into the water, apparently. Um. Am I fishing? Oh. Oh! Oh, man, I can't waste my croutons. I guess I'm fishing. Let's see if anything happens. So, this game has fishing. If you're into fishing, it's a winner. And, um, I don't know if it... Oh! I got one fish. Can I get another fish? I wonder if I'm going to run out of croutons, though. I wonder if it's the same amount of time or if it varies. Got another fish. And we can take a look at that in the inventory, I would assume. So there's our tinder fish. We can just eat now. Hmm. Can we cook the fish? Can we make a fire burn? So I guess you can just create a fire. I don't know if you need any other tools to do so. It just says burn there. I think I'll wait, though, to test that out. And then the fish I can just eat, but I wonder if cooking it provides a benefit. Now, I think that's kind of the the con to some of these games is that, you know, there are certain things that are not explained. In real life, we know, okay, create fire, cook the fish. You want to be safe. You want to get rid of any bacteria. You want to cook the meat. Um, but in this game, we don't know the rules. You know, can you get sick from eating raw food? Uh, you know, how does it work? There's nothing in this book that tells you anything. And uh, I'm not the kind of guy that wants to go to a website and forum or read any of this and, and, and ruin it for me. I want to just kind of learn. But is it up to the game developers to include things within their title that will allow you to better take advantage of the tools provided to you? You know, is it their job to, to say, hey, look, um, you should really cook that first here's how to do it. Here's how to make a fire in our game. You might know how to make a fire in real life, but since you're in this video game where things are different, here's how to do it. Should they be telling you that? 
part of me thinks, well, yes, to a certain extent, you know, because we just don't know. However, we also don't know why we're here. I don't know who I am. I don't know why I'm just in the middle of this wilderness looking around. Uh, so maybe that's part of the mystery. I don't know. Maybe they just want you to discover everything. Ooh, so cold. Like the fact that I just dipped my toe into the water and now I'm apparently also feeling hungry. Maybe that's it. Maybe you just don't know what's going on. Maybe you're having to figure out everything from scratch because you've you've lost all knowledge. I don't know. We don't really know the backstory here, and I haven't really read into it. Um, I am, however, hungry. Uh, I'm going to first try to eat some of these mushrooms. And by some, I mean all of them because I'm a pig. <laughs> so if I begin hallucinating... All right, so I guess I'll, I'll need more of these mushrooms. It looks like food is not a huge problem. As you can see here, uh, quite a few shrooms just all over the place. If you're a hippie, this is a great game for you. But, you know, again, uh, to a lot of people, this is going to be boring. But to me, it's, it's really just about exploration and just kind of discovering the beauty of uh, this perhaps forgotten world. Um, when I play a lot of my other games, whether it's an MMO or just a single player RPG, I love to spend time exploring. I like looking around and I like when developers place things in out of the way uh, locations so that I can find them and discover them. Like, oh look, I wonder if anybody else has found this. You know, I just like exploring and mountaineering and all that stuff it's just I think it's fun and I don't think enough games take advantage of it now this is you know this isn't a shooty game this is this is just about kind of wandering around and trying to survive and, and look at pretty things that's not a bad thing as long as you get your money's worth but will this be for everyone oh no not at all this is gonna be for somebody that really just wants to chill out and collect cubes and apparently I have a bow and arrow Crap, did I just waste ammo? Is there ammo? That's the thing, is I don't know. There's nothing in my inventory for it. It's just a tool, and I can switch between the two with the scroll wheel. I don't... I, don't, I hope I'm not wasting arrows or something. You can pull back on it. Can I collect my arrow? I think I have infinite ammo. You just okay well there's that interesting this is more tinder I might need more tinder because I'll need to make fire well one would think you know uh, there's another glowy thing over there now last time I was in the water it said it was cold but can I just Get through here quickly. So cold! And there's an icon, lower left, obviously there. Which I believe... Cold. Avoid cold areas like water or mountains. Prolonged time spent freezing will result in death. Alright. This one's green. Ah. It's been half a moon since... Sins? S-I-N-S, okay. Spelling. Uh, we left our blood in the storm and shadow of night. Okay, we've avoided trackers and guards. And po and all possible dangers lie now ahead, ahead of us instead of being behind. And so finally, we come to stop for more than a few hours. So, there are spelling issues here, obviously. And, you know, again, we don't know the story of this world. We don't know if people are forgetting how to, to write properly uh, over the years. You know, lack of education. People are just kind of passing on whatever knowledge they have left in this kind of post-human world. So it's possible that people are forgetting how to write properly, and this is what you get. We take this journey together for the... For the lol? <laughs> for the... <laughs> of the old town. Though, it's also kind of hard to read with this font. Though, though them, they'll call us deserters. Ada, Marquez, Q, 
keep this diary as proof in the case of my, I don't know what that is, my something, and my companion, Joss Hoban's bodies being taken by the great dark wilds through some unnaturalness. We come prepared for all things knowable. Joss, a trained hunter, and myself, a learned, learned apprentice of the bodied father himself, but the myths we track are many and we understand them only a little okay these small ruins seem different up close close but <laughs> haven't illuminated the stories we come to pursue at least not on the short breaks we've taken so far Joss fears them still as hunters are like to but hunters are like to but that's but that's okay whatever but that's why both of us needed to come together uh, the hunter's fear makes the ruins safe shelters for us, so our passing through them was necessary, and my hope is that our time in the small places will prepare Joss to enter those great skeletal leviathans seen from afar on long winter hunts. Surely those beasts will hold our answers. We've cut north and east so far to avoid trackers, but now we head west to find the leviathans. Hmm. What is this? Ada Old Town. Oh. Okay, well, um... What happens if I hit this? Is that pointing me in a direction or something? I don't know. Now, apparently I'm hungry, and it is dark out. So, um... With that red, uh, I do apologize. It's kind of difficult to read it with the font and the misspelling and grammatical issues there. But I'm guessing it, it's showing us that people are are forgetting how to write um, over the years without education and, and humanity and whatnot, societies, all that stuff. Um, let's go ahead and experiment with creating a fire, if I can. Uh, I've got rotten mushrooms. I don't. Can I get rid of these? Cause I. I don't want it. I'm gonna. Yeah. I don't want that. So tinder, burn. Built a campfire. And standing in it. Well, I guess I can't hurt myself by doing so. Smother. I have a smother option with my body. Okay. A uh, little disappointed that it's not actually creating a light source. I mean. Unless that's a glitch or something on my end, that's kind of weird. It should create a light source. So hopefully they'll fix that. By the way, by the way with me saying fix that, uh, not an early access title. Again, so I don't know how complete this is or take it as it is or what. I know that there was a new build posted on the 1st of August, so uh, they had introduced I think some more resolutions but yeah it's really dark here no lighting that's kind of lame uh, hopefully they do something about that uh, it's not titled as early access but I don't know if maybe it is um, so anyway let's tr can we cook this fish it just says eat I don't see oh no I don't want that I don't want a fish I don't see an option to cook the fish like you would think it would say cook fish here when you're next to a fire. I'm just gonna eat the fish, okay, without the fire needing to do anything. I mean, you think this would serve some sort of purpose, like there would be an indicator that says you were being warmed up or something? I don't know. We have stars in the sky. Hmm. I hear wolves or something. I better make sure that my bow's ready. But I'm just gonna sleep, I think. I think this is to sleep. And I'm passing out. Ever the dim beginning. Ever the growth, the rounding of the circle. Ever the summit and the merge at last. To surely start again. Eidolons. Eidolons. Or Eidolons. Eidolons. Get into it. Feeling pretty hungry. I just had a fish before I went to sleep. Okay, well, I guess I'll eat again um, without cooking anything. I'll just have some more shrooms. 
There we go. Ate the rest of the mushrooms. And we've got a fish. And, well, we can put the fire out. And it just remains. Can I rekindle? We can light it up again. Smother. And I guess that just stays there. Okay. Get some more shrooms just in case I get hungry. Uh, well... If my watching Bear Grylls has taught me anything, we should follow this uh, river. Generally, civilizations tend to build around sources of water and lakes and so on and so forth because they provide food as well. Animals tend to hang out around lakes and that could make for hunting. And we can, of course, fish if we need to. Again, food doesn't seem like a huge issue. So I'm not really worried about dying of starvation. However, what's that? I have heard that there are predators in this game. Could that be... What is that? Is that a... Oops. Is it looking at? Is that like a... What is that? I can't even tell what that is. I don't know, but I think it's looking at me. Oh! I think it was a fox. I just scared it away. I don't think I really hit it there, but... It's hitbox is a bit off. I just killed Star Fox. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I got two meat, though. It had to be done. It was him or me. He was staring me down. He was coming right at me. That's the rule of the wild. Uh, well, I got meat. But, again, apparently there's no cooking. Which, I'm, to be honest, a little disappointed in that. I kind of wanted there to be a cooking element to this. Uh, which makes me wonder if this game is finished. But, you know, like I said, I didn't see anything about it being early access. But, I'm thoroughly intrigued by this. It is pretty, you know, just chill, relax, calm. Probably a nice little game to live stream. There's another glowy thing over there, which, since it's green, I'm assuming it's another note. So cold. I won't read all of this one. Oh, it's a map, actually. I see. Now, north. Southeast. Um, well, let me think about where we're at. We have a river. Mountain range, maybe, next to us. We were at a lake that we first found our fishing rod at. Could we be here and then following this, possibly? These, I don't know what these are. They might look like power lines. And there seems to be some sort of road, and it says Believe here, and goes, points up to the north. I'm going to just continue on following the the river. And again, we can run. See if we can get to some sort of clearing or maybe high ground and figure out where we're at. Now, these these notes that I'm finding, the maps, the items. I mean, this is an open world. There's nothing that's telling me to go this direction. I'm only going here because of what I know of survival, follow lakes or rivers. Um... However, what if I went a different direction? What if I went up from where I started? Would those items be scattered elsewhere? Would, like if I say, screw this, I'm not going to follow the river and go that way. Am I going to find a note? Am I going to find another bow and arrow? Like, are there more? I mean, is there, oh, blackberries. Yeah, food is plentiful, it seems. I mean, see, that's the question. Is this... 
Is this like, well, you just getting lucky in finding this stuff because it's only along the river, or... Or we've placed them elsewhere, or are they randomly generated generated to the point where it's like, okay, the, the player is going this direction, item's going to generate over here. I don't know. But I think this game is going to cater to those with curiosity, you know. Oh, look. Look, he's like roller skating. Oh, no, he just... Okay, who's sliding there? I'm going to see if I can... It's Bambi! Well, it looks like they're they're not exactly uh, a friend to man. He's like, I saw what you did to that fox. Like, Sorry, man. He was eyeing me. So we'll just stick to this river for a little bit here. What is this? Uh, just more mushrooms. I mean, you know, part of me just wonders how complete this game actually is. Um, again, did absolutely no research on it other than watch a trailer and read the front Steam page. And uh, I, I, I just, I like to explore the games for myself. Feeling pretty hungry now, so... Um, some of these blacklists... Let's go for, well, let's go for some of these blackberries. Apparently eating blackberries sounds like opening a zipper, but there's that. Again, though, are there things that I should know? Like, in real life, yes, I can't keep running. I'm going to get tired. But is that happening in this game? Is that a gameplay mechanic? Should I be told that somehow? Should it be written somewhere? Should I be able to open the book and get a basic list of rules? Or is it just like, look, you're just thrown out here in the middle of nowhere. You have no idea what's what. You have to learn everything from scratch. I don't know. Do people want that? Do they want a little bit of hand-holding? I know in a game like DayZ, a lot of things, you know, when it first came out, they were just a mystery. We don't know what this does. We don't know how it works. Most people, you'd have to... Uh, most people would have to find out by going to a forum or talking to somebody else and or just kind of making things work. I mean, if you think about the first iteration of Minecraft, it's just like, well, how do I build this? I don't know. Put a bunch of wood in this container and make a pattern and create something. I don't know. So, continuing to follow this river, hoping that it leads to something. I can already tell you that this game will not be for everyone. Um, definitely not. You have to be of a specific mindset to be able to appreciate this. I don't have an issue with it. To me, it's kind of just a very chill, explore type of thing. Like I said, it might even be really good for a live stream. Just one of those games where you can relax. Not You're not being hunted by things. Well, at least not now. Not yet, anyway. I don't know. There are predators out here, apparently. What is this? Seems like it's man-made, but I don't know what it is. I can't interact with it. There's another one over there. And then there's this thing here. It's like part of a wall or something? I'm not sure. Is that a cube? That looks like a cube. I'm going to have to cross the water to get it. As long as we don't expose ourselves for too long. Wait, this is... A com oh, I got a compass. And again, you can switch between these by simply... Um, ...using your scroll wheel. I'm going to get a fish. Just because we have no idea how far out of here we're going to go and whether this food beyond the wilderness. Got one fish that apparently I don't have to cook. Bite into it, Bear grill style. So, let's see. If we take a look... Will M access... Okay, M will access the map. Um, north. That way. So...
I think this is, we're around here, I think. So we were traveling, we were following the river. But we want to kind of cut out of this mountain range. There seems to be something different here. I don't know what that's symbolizing. But eventually, I don't know, I kind of want to go towards where it says believe. Perhaps we'll run into Mulder and Scully. If you don't know who that is, you should be ashamed. Oops, I crept up on him. Not so well. <laughs> I have a feeling like they're going to tell their friends, It's the animal killer! And I'm probably going to run into something that can take me down. So, again, just thinking about following the river out. There seems to be more of these little weird green structures here. But see, this is the thing. I think a lot of people ruin their experience by, by looking at uh, guides, you know, for games like this. When it should be just really about exploring it for yourself and, and trying to, to learn, you know... Uh, the game and just and check out the sights and sounds. Now, of course, sure, you're watching me play this game, so in in some cases maybe you're spoiling it for yourself. But uh, you know, honestly, I think it's just part of the experience is um, figuring things out on your own and not necessarily reading a guide. I think it's okay to watch a video, but uh, when it comes to learning how to do things, sometimes you know maybe it's just about hopping in and. Making things work. I don't know. What is... So is this something that I can interact with? I don't think so. No, it's just a... Interesting plant, I guess. Yeah, nothing I can do there. But apparently I am tired. I can no longer run. Too tired to run. See how it's... Dead quiet right now. I kind of wish there was a little bit of wind or something, you know? The rustle of the leaves and the trees. But I think we want to kind of cut that way if I want to see what this is. Uh, however, maybe we should rest. I'm passing out. Not this the world, nor these the universes. They, the universes, purport and end, ever the permanent life of life, Eidolons, Eidolons. Interesting. Well, now I'm hungry. It's dark out. Plenty of shrooms there, so... Uh, where's my compass? Oh, Northbound-ish. So let's try to run for it. I'm sure you could also enjoy a wide variety of music while playing this game. There's a lot of things that could, could fit that uh, calm vibe. Can't run while using a tool. Noted. The downside of this now is my visibility is shot. Now, has anything changed in regards to this? That's still... Like, what is this? You know, I... These are the things, like, you know... I guess if you have this in your menu, shouldn't you have knowledge of what this is? It's just there's no explanation. Maybe it's obvious to somebody else. I just don't know. And it still says it's 12 a.m. Has this even changed? It's... I don't know. Like, it's those things that that do make me want to go into a form and say, okay, what's this? What is this thing? And then somebody has an answer for you. But then I feel like you shouldn't have to do that. 
I always feel like you shouldn't have to leave a game to figure something out. I think once you've left the game, then, then there's a problem. So just heading north, assuming that we're coming from that river and I'm trying to get to this. Because that's the only thing. I mean, there's some of that. Maybe it's just different types of trees or something. I don't know. The other thing is, how large really is this world? Now, apparently it's, they said it takes several hours to, uh, you know, to cross this land. But what's the limitation? Now... I do know a little bit about Unreal Engine in that there are there are map size limitations. Uh, so you know how large are they able to make this from a technical standpoint? See now we have some wind. Why do we have wind now? Unless it's another river or lake or something. I don't know. But I love the visuals. And it is, again, just simply amazed at the fact that they're able to make a game beautiful without being, you know, cutting edge. I want to go north, really. But, yeah, you can, I mean, you could just, you could just easily get lost here. There's no way to tell, really, what's what. I mean, thankfully, there's plenty of mushrooms here. You can sleep. I mean, there's... I don't I don't know if there are really all that many dangers. Now, maybe there are areas of the map where there's not much food. And... Um, you're expected to have gathered early on. And, you know, maybe I should have gathered every mushroom, every berry, hunted every uh, bit of wildlife before making this journey. You never know. Because, like, right now, I picked up a few shrooms... But there, I don't see any others, you know. So maybe you have to be careful about what you're doing. Perhaps we haven't really truly seen the hazards of this game yet. But I can tell you right now, definitely a lot of uh, running and walking. Um, if you're not into that, you won't like this. You have to be in a certain mindset to want to... What was that? to want to play this. I see some different looking trees over here. Let's go this direction. Compass. Alright, well, we're not going north, but... Eastbound. Let's see. There's some glowy things over there. Let us investigate. Oh wow, this is kind of a different vibe here. It's kind of like a swamp, sort of. I don't seem to be having an issue with temperature here, so it's not cold water. So mysterious. And I really think that, you know, they might be onto something with just creating a game that's simply about exploration. Now, sure, you don't want to overprice something like this. It's $15. Um, but it really depends on how many hours you can get out of that $15 and what else you may have spent that on. I can tell you that I've wasted plenty of money on games that were definitely not worth even that price point. But in this case, you know, if it's just a simple survival game with a bunch of exploration and some frame rate dropping, then I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't know why I had a little bit of a hiccup there. It's kind of a magical game. Will it be for everyone? Definitely not. But hopefully this video has given you an idea of what to expect from Eidolon. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you've enjoyed this look. 
It is available on Steam. I will have a link in the description below if you want to check it out. And, uh, of course, stay tuned to twitch.tv slash sidestrafe as I might decide to continue my journey with a live stream. So, again, thank you so very much for joining me. I will definitely see you on the next one.